All right, this is not an Abus. This is a, uh, a Tiffon, again, from the bottom of my box. Uh, Tiffon, I don't know who makes these, quite honestly. I bought it in Southern Europe. In fact, I bought several of them. They, they are pretty good quality lock. I think it is either Spanish or French. I really don't know. But anyway, they're common, very common in Southern Europe. Uh, pretty good quality lock, as you can see. We got, uh, here's the bidding. So we got a, oops, sorry, so got a five pinner. Uh, got a low one here near the end, could create some problems. Then we got some high ones, so, but we'll get it picked. I'm not too worried about it. What I do know about Tiffon is that uh, they give you a run for your money. They're not an easy pick. They, they force you to work for it. And so let's go ahead and get started on it. Uh, you can see the keyway is very open. Oops, sorry. It's, uh, again, the Y1 keyway, the larger of the Yale keyways. Again, very common in Europe. There's no play in here, which might lead you to believe that there's a, a standard pin, but I don't believe there is. Uh, there is no locking pin on the bottom, as you find in the Vero. Uh, so it, it, the tolerances on these are very tight. You're going to get a lot, of, a lot of pins binding at the same time. Okay, so again, like all high security locks or locks containing security pins, let's go ahead and see if we can't get us a false set. Now, there's a little variety of ways to do that. Uh, we can use the rocking technique, which for me works almost every time on Abuses, but it doesn't work on the uh, Tiffon. I, I don't know why. I've, rigged, I've uh, rocked the heck out of it, and I just never seem to get it. In fact, unlike almost all the other locks, when I do this with the Tiffon, not a single pin appears to be setting. You hear nothing in there crunching around. So I know right away that uh, A, they're all security pins, and B, that it's pretty tight specifications on the machining. So I've got no choice. I literally have to go pin by pin. So I can try to just randomly throw it in there, and uh, I happen to get a fault set there. Or I'll release this. You can go pin by pin. Get my tension wrench in there. We can go pin by pin releasing the tension between each until we come across that one pin that, oops, I must have missed two, there we go, and I don't need to go back to one, until we find the one pin that uh, that it gives us a false set. In this lock, that's the most effective technique because they all bind, so when you put tension on there, they're all bound up, uh, so that, again, again, is an indication of pretty high quality m machining inside of these Tiffons, whoever makes them. All right, first step done. We have the fault set. Let's just go ahead and start pulling, go to the rear and start moving forward. And we're going to find a binding pin. And there we go. If you like I put, you can see we're getting feedback on pin number five. It looks like. So apply tension with the, with the the uh, pick. Release pressure on the tension tool and send it home. Okay, easy. This is too easy, isn't it? Keep pulling. Looks like pin number one wants to go. So you can see we've got the feedback. I know you guys get tired of hearing this, but uh, I'm not sure you're watching every single video, so I've got to keep repeating myself. All right, feedback. Apply tension. Hold it steady and release tension on the tension wrench and let that one go home. And then we'll go to the back of the lock and start pulling again. Who's, who wants to be picked? Uh, looks like pin number four is begging for it. So again, same procedure. Tension uh, on the pick, release tension on the tension wrench, and send it home. Easy. And keep moving up. I got feedback on, looks like pin three there. Okay. Same procedure. Ten pressure on the pick, release tension, send them home. Okay, now if we should start dropping pins here pretty quick, and that's what makes these things fun. Uh, I'm back on pin four. He's giving me feedback again, so let's go ahead and push him home again. Bam, he's home. Okay, keep going, keep pulling. Pin two. There's our feedback, quite dramatic. Ten, get pressure on the pick, release tension. Let me get centered on that pin head. I'll do this right. Okay, we sent him home. Okay, continue polling. So it looks like somebody dropped. Looks like pin three. Let's send him home again. 
There we go. Nope, we must have rolled off the pin head. We'll do it again. There we go. And we lost our false set. So we know that two is the binding one. We'll pop him back in. We did it. We got our false set back. Now it looks like pin one is begging for it again. There we go. Back to the rear. Pin four, he's home. Okay, pin three again. Okay, we'll send him home. Let me just double check. Yep, he's he's the only one. So let's go ahead and do pin three again. There we go. See who else wants it. Now obviously we didn't get the binding sequence right, but that's okay because this is all about practice. This is all about having a little fun. Pin four again. Okay, he's home and I lost my false set, so it's got to be pin two. We come up here and take a look. Back to false set. Okay, cool. Pin three again, and then bam, open. And now that was quite a challenge. That was a lot of fun. These Tifons are a lot of fun. I really like it. I've got, I think, three of them in my collection. A couple of them really big ones. So if you're intimidated by size, uh, you're going to love the next Tiffon. Anyway, thanks for your time. I hope we didn't waste it. Everybody be safe. Don't get hurt. And uh, please don't break the law. Stay legal. Bye.